Guys, coming in hot with another toy review unboxing. This time we've got the Monday Night Wars Eddie Guerrero. This is part of the Walmart exclusive line, of course, and this is the WCW version of Eddie Guerrero. Not my favorite version of Eddie. I do wish we got kind of like more of an updated Eddie Ultimate. You know, the one that came out a couple years ago is definitely hard to hard to find. Um, but it kind of makes me want to like maybe I'll swap it out the head with one of the um, one of the heads with the uh, four pack the Target exclusive four pack head. I like that a lot. Uh, it seems like they got the skin tones right. A lot of people are talking about that. It kind of just looks like the perfect Eddie. Um, didn't watch a lot of WCW, I'll be honest, but definitely had to have this because Eddie is one of my favorite wrestlers, as the shirt says. So it comes with the WCW Cruiserweight title, a couple of sets of hands, a couple of heads, and the Eddie Guerrero is my favorite wrestler cutoff t-shirt. So without further ado, let's, oh, I should probably read the bio and then, okay, so hi, height, five foot eight from El Paso, Texas. Finisher is the Frog Splash. Uh, at the time, career highlights WCW United States Champion. And the bio reads, in front of his hometown of El Paso, Texas, Eddie Guerrero faced his nephew and WCW rookie Chavo in a tag team match. Eddie did not hold back, taking it to Chavo and beginning a months long initiation that eventually broke his nephew's spirit as well as his mind. So definitely curious to see how this figure presents itself once I get it out of the packaging. All right. Yeah, I'm like just absolutely obsessed with the Ultimates line lately. It's so great. Now I do think I have, maybe this is the first time that uh, a WWE figure has come with the WCW United States Champion, or one of the first times. But it's a decent looking title. It looks way better in hand than it does on camera, but a lot stiffer than most of these Mattel titles, and I think that's just because of the, the size of the actual title belt itself and the uh, side plates. Uh, so yeah, he's got two different sets of hands. I'm just going to show them to you there. Don't really need to, unless I'm going to swap them here, don't really need to you them. Just get them out of packaging. Yeah, I wish I wish I'd get my hands on that other Eddie Grill for you know a decent price, but people are just asking kind of like ridiculous prices. But um, and it makes me think like I should have got it when I saw it in person, the one and only time I saw it, and I passed it up. So I got that uh, soft goods T-shirt, Velcro on the back, take it off, display it with them couple different head scopes. I'm not really a big fan of this one. He's kind of got, um, I don't know what it's giving right now, but he's kind of got like a angry expression on his face. But that mullet, Supreme, really killed it with that. This is definitely the, the best head sculpt on the whole, the whole figure. Kind of like a, definitely like an angry face getting into it kind of thing. Yeah, that mullet is fantastic. On Eddie here. And let us, let us release him from this plastic prison. Yeah, I picked this up probably about a month or two ago. And I'm just opening it now. Uh, guys, if you don't know, Red Side's always got kind of uh, quite the deal and steal going on. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up something that I said I wasn't going to pick up. But for video purposes, A... And B, uh, I think it would be a funny Halloween, or not Halloween, Thanksgiving prop, and I think you already know where I'm going with this, but the WWE Ultimate Ringside Exclusive Gobble Cooker action figure, 1998, also comes with the modern day head, uh, I believe Chelsea Green was in the costume one year, as well as Johnny Gargano, so they got a couple different Head sculpts going on with that, but it's on sale for 10 bucks. You can also get the egg accessory to go with it. So check that out if you please, if you will. <laughs> uh, his arm fell off right away, but that is the thing about Ultimates. 
they do have removable arms for the sake of uh, a lot of their figures you know they they come with uh, jackets and other pieces and stuff like that but a lot of articulation going on with this Eddie. I think I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to, just because I'm definitely a big, like, 05 Eddie guy. But, you know, like, 97, 96, maybe even 98 WCW Eddie is a great figure, honestly. But I love the gear, the gold and the red going on there and the black. Um, fantastic looking figure. Uh, got those drop down hips, of course. Um, only problem with those is they kind of leave a big gap, especially if like you're doing toy photography or whatever, or if you just plan on like posing them. But uh, let's swap out a couple of these heads and kind of see what we dig, what we dig, and what we don't dig. So right away, I can tell I don't really dig this head. It's not. I don't know. It's just too much teeth going on. There's something. It's weird. Once again, Mattel nailed the mullet. Actually, let's put on the shirt because this is definitely how I'm going to pose him. So let's put on the shirt. And I think a lot of people are asking, like, did he actually wear this shirt? I think he did, like, for a short stint. Or he wore it definitely for a couple episodes of Nitro and whatnot. And then, of course, it became an iconic, like, you know, shirt for fans to buy. And yeah, that's the one right there. Definitely got that Eddie Guerrero feel. You know, legend. Taken too soon, of course. Throwback to his WCW days. What a cool way to honor that time of his career. Especially, um, you know, he's got this WCW Cruiserweight title. mess around with it too much but you get the point uh so yeah definitely a uh, lot better of a figure than i thought i would like it fantastic I, I might be getting all of these ultimate line figures uh minus hogan <laughs> but yeah i'll never own a hulk hogan in my collection unless i absolutely need to for a two-pack sake and then i'll sell it but definitely like this monday night wars line I'm not so much about like the getting the elites that, you know, build have a build a figure and whatnot, but definitely the ultimates. Heck yeah, bro. So I cannot get this title to wrap around to save my life, but you get the idea. So very cool Eddie Guerrero figure. Be checking your local Walmarts. They may or may not pop up. I feel like, unfortunately, <laughs> the time is They've already come and they're on their way out. So hopefully you can scoop one up for your collection. So anyway, it's been a toy review, toy unboxing, whatever. Like and subscribe.